there, welcome. Today we're going to talk about reading and writing decimals. The I can statement is I can read and write decimals to thousandths using base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. So first we have base 10 numerals and that is just your typical number, okay, with just regular numerals. And then we have word form where we write it out in words, 148 and that's where your decimal is, 579 thousandths. And then we have expanded form. So you're probably familiar with expanded form of whole numbers. So we would have one times 100 for 100, four times 10 for 40, eight times one for eight. But let's look at what it looks like for decimals. So in order to get 5 tenths, I'm going to multiply 5 by 1 tenth. I'm taking 1 tenth of 5 so that I come up with 5 tenths. Then for the hundredths, it's 7 times 1 hundredth. So I come up with 7 hundredths. And then for the thousandths, I have 9 times 1 thousandth, which is 9 thousandths. So if I take all these expanded um, pieces and I put them back together, I'll show you how it goes back to look just like the base 10 numeral. So if I take 100 plus 40 plus 8 plus 5 tenths plus 7 hundredths plus 9 thousandths, and I will add decimals to these numbers and zeros just to fill out the places, but I'm not changing the value of these numbers by doing this. This is just to show you how I can add them up so that it's all lined up. So I haven't changed the value of any of those numbers by adding those decimals, but when I put it all back together, I come up with the same number we started with, 148 and 579 thousandths. Okay, so go ahead and try the practice problems. When you finish them, scan the QR code at the bottom and we'll go over them. 